What happens if you try to approach something that's the plank length? You get so much energy in there that it, what you do is you form a black hole. And then you put more energy in, you try to see what's going on, and the black hole grows. And so you get to a point, which is around the plank length in size, where you can't, <laughs> in principle, try to resolve the structure of this thing. It starts to go bigger again because you make a bigger and bigger black hole and it grows. So, so the Planck length does seem to be, I would say is, a, a fundamental property of the universe. Um, and now, the nature of that thing, so, so if we talk in terms of black holes, then you have these kind of Planck-sized pixels, in some sense, tiling the event horizon. Does that mean that these are building blocks of space that are that size? Um, it, it, it would seem so, but th this is where we get to, uh, we're at the edge of our current understanding. I, I think it is legitimate to make the argument that um, given what we know about the universe, given the, the measurement we make of the strength of gravity, the measurement we make of Planck's constant, and the measurement we make of the speed of light, then there is something fundamental about this very tiny length, 10 to the minus 35 meters. 